I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for a little holiday get ready with me video. I'm just going to be putting on some makeup and doing a holiday themed hair tutorial. To start out this super basic everyday makeup look, I'm just applying a little bit of brown shadow to the crease and blending it out with a large brush. I love using brown eyeliner pencil to line my eyelids. I think it's a very nice natural look and can be less or more dramatic depending on how much you apply. I'm lining the lid as tightly as possible and I'm gonna blend it out with a angled makeup brush to keep it looking subtle. And to soften the eye even more, I always like to add a little bit of my translucent makeup powder over the top. I'm blending out the bottom lash line with a fan brush and applying a little bit of mascara to the lashes. To be honest, I haven't tried very many lip liners, but the one that I have that I love is one by NARS and it's Holly Red. It is a perfect holiday red shade and I use it to line my entire lip before applying lipstick. My favorite lipstick that I have right now is by Guerlain and it's a vintage shade, I believe, called Red Insolence. And what I love about it is it's super hydrating and has a very natural red shade. So if I wear it by itself, it's definitely a little bit more natural and has a bit more of a pop when I pair it with this lip liner. A lipstick as hydrating as this one makes for a perfect cheek tint. You can just blot it into your cheek with your fingers and apply as much or as little that you want. I love the shade and the finish and think it's a very similar product to what a vintage rouge would have been like. And since the eyes are kind of downplayed in this makeup, I don't mind applying a little bit more color to the cheeks. And I am adding multiple layers of this lipstick as my rouge. I'm not the kind of person that likes to have a lot of makeup products. I'm kind of more of a stick to a few things that I love and try to get the most use out of them. So I love being able to use a lipstick for two different things. And that is all the color I'm going to be adding to my face. And the final step in my makeup application is going to be applying some translucent setting powder. Something I've noticed in a lot of vintage advertisements and old Hollywood glamour photos is how powdered the faces of the women were. I think that having pretty much no shine was very popular back then, so I like to apply layers of my powder. And my favorite powder is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Setting Powder. I typically wear the shade medium, except for in the winter I kind of might switch to the lighter shade. And after packing in another layer of powder, the makeup look is complete. This is a super simple makeup look that I can get done in about 15 minutes. And as you'll see, the hairstyle that I'm pairing with this today is a quick one as well. If you're curious about the wet set process for this hairstyle, you can look back at my last tutorial for the Marilyn Monroe vintage setting pattern. But I don't think the setting pattern is that important for the hairstyle. I think it's just matters that your hair is curled. And you could easily curl your hair with a curling iron instead. I had actually no intention of doing a kind of styled hairdo. My plan was just to do a vintage brush out, but then I loved the curls so much after I took out all the bobby pins that I decided to do kind of a two-in-one day where I wore my hair one way for one tutorial and then brushed it out for the next. And it was so simple and quick to put it together that I'll probably be using a similar style again in the future. Unlike my typical brush out tutorials, I'm not going to be brushing out the curls at all. We're just gonna leave them super curly. And because the bang section was rolled forward, they're naturally going to attempt to tossle over the front of your face. So that's why I decided to pull them back into a lovely little faux bang. 
but to make the hair more pliable, I am going to add a little bit of pomade. This step is optional, of course. You probably don't need to add this product. It's just something that I've come into a habit of doing and I like the way that it feels. And to reduce any areas that look like they may have separated, I'm just kind of combing them, smoothing them back together. So it was at this point in time that I was starting to finger comb and kind of preening the hair where I got to thinking, this is too cute for me to brush through it, I'm gonna do a style with it. And for once, I did not have any actual inspiration that I was working off of, I just kind of put it together as I went. So instead of finger combing, which is what I normally would do, I'm kind of just zhuzhing the hair at the root to bring it to a certain fullness without actually combing through the curls. I'm trying to keep it as curly as possible, and I just gathered up that bang section, and then I decided to also pull back the side sections. And if you used a setting pattern that was rolled in these sections, it will make it very easy for you to define which parts of the hair you want to form together. For the side section, I used a vintage hair comb to pull back the hair. And for the bangs, I just grabbed that cluster of curls and pulled them back with a bobby pin. And to add a little bit more purpose to the curls, I pinned some of them down individually with a few more bobby pins. And if you prefer a more coiffed and set style, you can always apply a hairnet before you put on your hair combs. And I decided to add a holiday hair flower to the other side. It's a faux red dahlia with a duck bill clip. I hope you enjoyed this little festive introduction to the holiday season here on my channel. Hope to see you again soon. Bye!